Gentlemen's Drivers Club, the first time around that I saw it, you you focus largely on apparel. Yep. How how is Gentlemen's Drivers Club different today than it was even just two years ago? Sure. So yeah, we, and just like you said, two years ago was the inception of the brand. But when I started it, it was created as an apparel brand. And the reason it was is because I always knew from studying those mentors I talked about was you can have a great idea, you can have a great concept, you can have a great vision, but you have to have a product to sell behind it. And this was a big thing for Grant Cardone. It's like, okay, you can create something and have a great idea, but what value can you provide to the customer embracing your brand? And for me, the value, the product was apparel. I was like, how can I get, because essentially every brand is just selling an idea. Okay. They're selling an idea and they're selling a story. So I had a story for what the brand was, but I didn't have a way to get that story in people's hands. And the apparel was a way to do that. Um, but back to your question. So we were all apparel, all apparel for probably the first um, year and a half, really. And then about six months ago, I was like, okay, we've sold a lot of apparel. I mean, we, we've shipped to nine different countries. We've done over 4,000 orders and we shipped it almost every single state uh, in the United States. It's like we sold a lot of apparel. And what our customers were telling us was, we love your apparel, we love your story, we love what you stand for, but what's next? How can we get more involved? And it took me a while to figure out that question that they were asking me. I was like, you know, for every brand, you want customers who are begging to be involved, right? And for me, I was getting that, but I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> And okay. so, so it took me, it took me a little bit and I was like, you know what? Gentleman's driving club started as an apparel brand, but it can be so much more. So now, you know, we do podcasts, we do YouTube videos, we sell apparel. We have a private discord group where people buy, sell and trade parts. People exchange information, people meet up and have actual car meets in different locations. So, you know, next time I'm in Miami, I can log into the gentleman's driving club, online cars and coffee and say, Hey, who's in Miami right now and wants to meet up and G GDC drivers can interact with each other through that platform all day. So th the story I always give is um, I'm always excited for cars and coffee first Sunday of the month, right? First Saturday of the month, right? Everybody is. Um, and then that second Saturday comes and you're a little disappointed because you're like, man, how could this Saturday top last Saturday? <laughs> right, right. right. You're, you're disappointed for three weeks. So it's like, how can I bring that feeling of cars and coffee, the interacting with all the car enthusiasts, the seeing all the cool cars, the being involved in all the production and everything. How can I bring that to people each and every day? And so we created the General Driving Club online cars and coffee platform. So it's like we went from just selling T-shirts to creating a whole massive online community and tons of content for our, our, our customers and our audience to uh, absorb. So it's, it's an experience. It's an experience now. Absolutely. GDC was always meant to be a community. Like yep. your, your experience on YouTube, you built a community, you came out with shirts, people wore the shirts and said, okay, what do we do next? <laughs> and, yep. and now you, you have the whole community built around it. Right. That, that's awesome, man. It's really, it's really great to see the place that it's in.